How how is this? I, I don't know. That's why I don't know why you're back here taking pictures. Of you you don't know, and you've asked, and I've told you. Evil cops often blur the lines between right and wrong undermining our trust in those sworn to protect and serve. However, in the face of such corruption and abuse of power, there's always a brave and principled citizen who refuses to be intimidated. Because I am not doing anything wrong. Loitering this requires what? Which, are you, what's your name? I'm a lieutenant. What's lieutenant. Your name? What's so your what, name? What, what, I got the body camera going. Go? In September 20th, 18, Mr. Robbins, a local radio producer, was peacefully filming on a public sidewalk. However, Detective Bradley Young Blue saw this and, feeling extremely paranoid, thought Robbins was filming him. Taking pictures. Just random things. Is it? Is this Market Street back here? What's that? Is this Market Street back here? The Market District? Market over this way. Another block, I think. Okay. They're doing some redevelopment over here. Okay. I was just trying, just curious. You're just... Are you okay now? Police vehicles, personal police vehicles. We've had... It's just suspicious. Just ask it. Okay, well, are you are you okay now, or are you still suspicious? I am a little suspicious. You're taking pictures of police officers, personal vehicles. What will satisfy your suspicion? I don't know. Maybe I just ID it. That's why. How will that just determine whether or not I'm suspicious? I'm just asking, dude, and I don't understand the difficulty as you're reporting me. I mean, yeah. I get that. Yeah. I just, it's strange that people are back here taking pictures of our cars and is it okay though? Is it legal? You're one of those folks, aren't you? I'm just asking. It's astonishing to witness the mindset that higher ranking police officers develop, always attempting to portray law abiding citizens who are aware of their rights as a threat to society. Challenge everything and than How am I challenging something by taking pictures? How how is this? That's why I don't know why you're back here taking pictures of... You, you don't know. And you've asked and I've told you. you, you yes, I have. Are you not listening, sir? Or are we going to have a... Are we going to go round and round and round in a circular conversation? You say, is it for redevelopment or is it... I mean, what is it for? Right, listen, what is it going to take for me to dispel your, your suspicions? Well, I can take pictures. It's perfectly legal, right? To a certain degree, but to a certain degree. Don't come to your house and take pictures. This is not your house, is it? Do you live here? I'm just asking. Do, do you live here? I work here every day. Okay. Well, you come by my job anytime you like. Okay, Stand on a public sidewalk and where take all the pictures you like. Job, so I know where to go, sir. Yeah. Okay. Around this time, other officers who clearly have nothing better to do. Notice this utterly pointless spat going on and decide to gang up on poor Mr. Robbins. Because why not? Uh -huh. It's always fun to kick someone when they're down, right? You're leaning on my truck? Sorry. What's, what's going on? Hi. Hi. What's going you tell on? me what's going on. Well, I don't know. There's I'm somebody called. Over here. I mean, this guy's confronted me. Okay. Lost it, sir. <coughs> confronted. Confronted. I, I, you're taking pictures of vehicles that are unmarked police vehicles. Right. All I ask you is, why are you taking pictures? You're getting license plates, all that stuff. And you've been asking, rather than just tell me what the pictures but are is for. is it okay? Well, no, because they're unmarked police vehicles. That's why you're back here and it's suspicious. We've had a couple cars stolen okay. from this real out. We've had cars take, broken into. What we got a lot of equipment. To ease your suspicions? An explanation of what you're taking pictures for and why. I, I'm taking pictures because it's perfectly legal for me to do See, so. See, that's, that's that, just problem. because it's a le just because what? it's legal doesn't mean it's not suspicious. Okay, so it's what suspicious. About, but, but what to, will but it take to for you to... Sir, just so you understand, your responses are what make me even more suspicious because you're immediately okay, difficult. You, One of the officers, Lieutenant Joseph Leo, deems it necessary to assert his authority and trample all over Robin's rights as if he knows better than anyone else. This is the true face of the corrupt American policing system. Because you're immediately don't difficult. You, don't touch you, sir. You get immediately talk. difficult. Consent to any Put your hands up there. You don't need to consent to no, that's, that's, that's not against the law. Yes, it is. It is. 
Okay. Who are you? What's your name? My What's name your is name? Sergeant Curtis. Okay, Sergeant. 4802. What's illegal about? Here's my badge number. What's illegal about? What is illegal about is nothing. Okay. But you're acting suspicious. Okay. And then when he asks you if you've got any idea on you, and I'm then you start looking at cars. And you're Is acting cars? suspicious, yeah. and you're filming In cars. Angie is who flagged me down. In cars. I didn't. Okay. Let's be no. clear about in cars or not. Okay, I'm talking right now, please. You, you want to talk to her? Yeah, see if you can get a hold of her. Talk me, I have any ID on you. Why do I need ID to be a pedestrian? Mm -hmm. What's your name? What's your name? Lieutenant Leo. Okay, Lieutenant Leo. What's your name? I don't have to give my name. You don't? No. Honestly, the fact that cops with such low IQs can hold such authority is quite scary. They know their actions are also illegal, but they couldn't be less bothered about what the law has to say. Uh, what's your name? I actually do. What's the crime? Suspicious. You're back here that's taking the, that's your, a crime. As I is to that a you. felony or a misdemeanor, sir? Where in the code is is suspicion a crime? Who crossed you that you have to act like this when all we're doing is asking simple questions because you're taking pictures of unmarked police vehicles, undercover police vehicles, okay, squad so, cars, so you're not area back the here? What? Cite me a code. So what organization do you belong to that oh, making you be you difficult? Know. What is it that you're, what is the issue with you? As far as I know, what is the no issue? organization. I, I don't know. He I don't know if it's one of those. Guy. Just go, go, go away. Just go away. You're done. Me? Yeah, go away. You're no. done. No. No, sir. Well, you're not allowed out in front of this building. How's that? I'm out in front of this building. That's right. This is a public sidewalk. Then move on down the sidewalk. It's down a public road. sidewalk, sir. All Are right. you releasing me? Am I free to go? Yep. Okay then. I'm free to stay as well. And so are we. Okay. Actually, you're not. So free let's to it, stay. That's loitering. Why is it? You're no, loitering. it's not, sir. Yes, it is. Because I am not doing anything wrong. Listen. Lieutenant Josh Ramey condescendingly saunters into the situation and oh so casually drops the bomb on Mr. Robbins that he simply isn't free to go, despite the fact that his sergeant was just moments away from making a run for it. What's your name? What police academy did you You're go loitering. to? You're loitering. You're required to give me your information. Uh, what is your loitering, name? Loitering, it requires Otherwise, I'm going what to else? arrest you. You're going Otherwise, to arrest I'm going to arrest you. For, Josh, for, if you want, I can just loitering. make a suspicious activity case. We can confiscate the, the camera until we have a reason yeah, for what we're that. doing. Just get his information. We'll get your information. I'll confiscate the camera until we know you, you have a legitimate purpose. What's that? Yes. You're yes, yes, I'm about loitering. suspicious activity. You're will You're suspicious yes. and you're loitering. You've yes. had cars stolen out of yes. the lot. Okay. It's suspicious. So I, get, I have no problem. Am I detained at this point? Yes, you are yeah, now okay. at this point. Do you have your ID? I don't, sir. Okay. Put your hands up there. I'm going to patch you. Okay. Up. Can I put this? I've already been patted down. This horde of tyrants seems to believe that they are the masters of the universe, going about their business of doing what they do best, using their powers to manipulate situations and force their qualified immunity onto regular, unsuspecting civilians. They can fabricate these garbage cases, but they'll soon relays their mistakes. Oh, were you coming down here looking for a confrontation? No. Yeah. I wasn't. Why are you I taking wasn't. pictures of this, this license plate? Why, what are you doing? What are you doing? Investigating you suspicious doing? activity. You're not, you're That's fine, you yourself. can do that. Okay. You can also do yourself. that. What's your last name, sir? You can have a consensual conversation. It was a consensual conversation, better. but rather than just talk to me, except you talk to me with an attitude. Me, sir, except the way you confronted me. Sir. It's almost comical how Youngblood behaves like a Karen in cop clothes, getting so easily offended by someone's way of talking. And if you don't give it to us, you're John Doe. Do you understand interference with official acts? Where I, I do. I absolutely do. Okay. do but you don't have that. This is the last chance you have to give us your information. Okay. Go to last thing. And this is by because of threat of arrest. Is it? Absolutely. Yeah. Understand. You have to give it. To the guy. You all don't pay because hey, every hey, single hey. one of you. This is a guy who's come down here for this exact purpose. No, uh, it's, it's, it's not. Angry How? What action can I say that will cause you all to misbehave? You! Well, if you're part of this detention, how then you're how misbehaving. How have we harmed you, Mr. Robbins? How have we harmed you? Uh, you can be down here against my will. You can be down here looking for You're holding me against, against my will. Yes or no? Did you? I don't want to be held against my will. And why are you down here taking pictures? At no point did I want to be why held against my will. Why are you down here taking will, pictures? You got a four so next time before you come down here, I suggest you read the code on trespass, loitering, both of those. You can disregard that. 
So get yourself up to speed on those because okay. you're going to talk okay. yourself right into jail next time. Okay. It appears that young Blut, Rami, and the rest have absolutely no valid reason to be here other than their feeble attempt at investigating and intimidating this man, all due to their unfounded paranoia and utter incompetence in safeguarding their own property. Crime. That's you, what I, want I don't know, know yet. yet. I got to investigate it. Okay. You don't know if there's been a crime or not. Nope. We're going to investigate it, though. Okay. my card so you know. All Once right. I confirm whether or not a crime occurred. Okay. A few pictures of the federal building on there, too. Yeah. He's down here doing it here. He's probably doing it at other government-owned facilities. Or for the next card, it was stolen. Who knows? Well, or the next uh, bag. Mr. Robbins, I'm Detective Youngblood. Okay. Next Simply was asking you your suspicious nature. You're taking photographs down here. I'm going to confiscate your camera at this point in time. I don't know your reasoning. You've yet to give me any logical reasoning other than you'd like to challenge authority today. Other than that, I don't know what your reasoning or logic is. I hope it is not for nefarious deeds. Um, for that purpose, I'm going to confiscate the camera at this point under a suspicious activity situation. I don't know what else is on your camera. What I may do is when I'm not actively working the homicide that occurred two weeks ago, I'll write a search warrant in regards to your camera. I'll then download everything that's on your camera because I don't know what else you've taken pictures of. Given the fact that our police station has been bombed before, we've had two cars stolen from this rear lot in recent days. You're down here among several she undercover that cars that are our safety if people were to know who they are. Young Blute condescendingly proceeded to enlighten Robbins on the reason behind his decision to confiscate the camera, as well as the subsequent course of action. Despite the futility of dealing with these officers, Robbins managed to maintain his composure and unwavering coolness. He filed in regards to the, your uh, camera and your phone. Um, I would suggest if you do want to file a complaint in regards to that before this trespass is in effect, you might want to just walk up there now and you can go file it. I know the Office of Professional Standards is on the second floor. Uh, you can call 4816 from the lobby desk and they can come down and meet you, or you can go up to their office and you can make a formal complaint. Um, I know you were recording me as we spoke in regards to this. Again, I just was curious what you're down here for. It's a beautiful old building. People take pictures at the time, but a lot of people don't take pictures of our vehicles and things like that. Thus the reason for the suspicious nature of what you were doing. I know you're under no obligation to ever respond to me because you would wish to challenge authority today and be a problem. That's my assumption. Since you've given me no other reason to really suspect anything different, I'm gonna assume that's what you're here for. It was just to create this drama. So I'll put all that in the report. At some point, I'll be done with your phone and camera, and we'll make arrangements to get that back to you. I hope there's nothing else illegal on it or anything suspicious. Are you complaining? Have you completed your stop? Yes, yep. you're free to go, sir. And you're now trespassed, so you're going to oh, have to leave. Your keys. Go inside. Your keys. Is your vehicle parked down here someplace? Did you drive here? How did you do that? How did you your license? You don't have, oh, sir, you might want your readers. You don't have a driver's license? Someone ran them? Thank you. I hope, I hope your driver is somewhere nearby waiting for you. Have a nice day, sir. The appellate court did affirm qualified immunity for the officers on Robin's First Amendment claims but sent the case back for further proceedings on allegations the police violated his Fourth Amendment rights. The city of Des Moines will pay a $125, $1,000 settlement to a man who was detained by police for recording video outside the police station. Court records show. However, when it comes to auditing, there's no one better than a certain someone who loves to put corrupt officers in their place. This is for my safety. I'm violating your First Amendment right? On June 30th, 2024, Sean Paul Reyes uploaded a video to his YouTube channel, Long Island Audit. Yes, you guessed it. Sean is the go-to name when it comes to First Amendment auditors. He's a true visionary, spreading awareness about the importance of First Amendment rights. In this case, he blessed the people of West Palm Beach, Florida with his presence. Ladies and gentlemen, they won't even let us inside of City Hall without an appointment, so we requested to speak to somebody from city clerk's office who is right here. Hey sir, how are you? So I filled out the records request. Okay, so I asked the question. About the budget, um, right. Yeah, they do have it online. The latest one is 2024. Okay. So you can have it online. They don't, because they have it online, they do not provide. Because you have it online, they don't provide what? They don't provide a, a physical, physical copy? copy anymore. If you want a printed copy, it's 637 pages. And you have to pay for it. Or and give it back to me. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, I'm just documenting my experience, sir. I understand that. I'm just documenting my experience here. Hey, how are you? 
So what the security officer here was trying to show me is no audio or video recording without express permission from who? I don't know. Who would you need permission to from to exercise your constitutional rights? Sean faces off with the first of the few nonverbal warnings that he was given about filming. Although the little notice board clearly states the rule as a part of the policy, it cannot supersede and contradict the Constitution. The people record them. Hey, how are you? Hey, Excuse me? Sean? I'm Sean, yeah. Oh. <laughs> How you doing, man? So I'd be here, then we're going to film our talk to you. Ayo Pri? Ayo Pri? Tua Pri. Are you um, stationed here, officer? Uh, most of the time. Uh, can I just yeah, get your name and badge number? Santana, you, you caught me at a disadvantage. You know who I am. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a mutual thing. It's nothing against you or anybody. Right, 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 right. Like I said, I'm just following protocol and what they have in front of here. So I am really really trying to work with you guys right i am doing my research i am talking to different people to try to see if we can come up to a common ground right to try to be in the same because i don't want any type of animosity or anything like that. right me either sir no know. me I either sir thank you so much through email thank you i appreciate that sir Sean is approached by Officer Santana, who was stationed at City Hall. Although at first, it seems that Santana is trying to be cooperative. How long this will last, though, is anybody's guess. So what I was explaining that we were trying to come up to is, because um, my understanding at the beginning was like, okay, nobody can come here and report. Right. It went a little bit deeper as I read more of the policy that they have implemented. Right, the, the policy here. that the city implemented. So what I hear is about not necessarily it's the building what i heard was that and what, I, what it reads not what i hear so okay what it yeah second show you uh -huh. is the actual people okay so if there's one person that doesn't give consent to be um to be recorded they don't want to be recorded at that point the recording should stop okay. it's not that you cannot sit here and record the inside of the first floor um again for security reasons i cannot just say hey listen man just go and walk to the second third fourth floor Unless you're being escorted, unless you have some type of appointment or somebody that's appointed to to be with you and actually give you a tour of it, right? There's no issue with that. Yeah. So, are you offering to give me a tour? Not me. That's <laughs> no, no, no. Listen, listen. And if it was up to me. In the policy, in the in the policy you're referring to, officer, is is there what, what's the reason for the no cameras? Is so it so they they have considered this a limited public um forum? Okay. So based on that, the the I'm guessing the mayor and. and they implemented or they implemented. This is pretty much what I call his house, you know, his, 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 his office. So right. he has put. Uh, well, well a, to be respectfully, sir, just to clear, it's, it's the people's going, house. I know you. I know it's the people's going, house. <laughs> he doesn't pay. To, he doesn't pay to be right, here. No, no, yeah. I agree. Um, we pay. Although Santana is maintaining a respectful and calm demeanor, as he should, since he's a public servant. But Sean nevertheless corrects him everywhere his policy enforcement brainwashing shows. Application is that any any person or so, like it could just be a member of the public, a public worker, a public servant. Anybody who doesn't feel comfortable. Like right now, over here, if, if, he, if he says he don't feel comfortable, you don't feel. Then, but why don't why don't you feel comfortable about the camera? But there's a camera right there. I'm just pointing out that there's cameras everywhere we go, sir. I I mean, there's cameras everywhere. There's one right above your head. Yeah. Somebody, like I said, you, you can see as soon as somebody feels kind of like not comfortable with that. that but doesn't they, that, they doesn't, to. officer, don't you think that kind of like, what if somebody says, what if there was a policy that says, I don't feel comfortable around people of color, right? And then the minute that you walk in the yeah, building and you say, hey, yeah. I don't feel comfortable because oh, this guy, yeah, his I, skin is a little I'm bit I'm different just, than mine. I'm basically just following I know, I understand what you're saying, but I, so I kind of don't. It right here says, um, <laughs> So pretty much, except, except within the city of commission chambers, conference rooms, and other looking. So you are able to record when they have in commission. But alas, Santana's ability of being a dim-witted officer becomes more evident. He began reciting the entire list of policies without realizing how idiotic he sounded. Anybody else who feels that way, that's going to become a disruption. But don't you, don't you think we're going down like a slippery slope of if any single person inside of City Hall can say, hey, I feel uncomfortable, that's considered a disruption? It's kind of like it's subjective. It's it's like, hey, I feel uncomfortable. I, I don't put the, the, the I know you I don't. don't do it. If I did it, you I, know it would be. I, <laughs> be I know you different. don't. I know you I don't. don't. But you're but you enforce it. I know, you but you enforce it. Um, now, in reference to a library, the library is also considered a, a limited public. Right. Now, which means that they can make reasonable 
Time, if, place, and manner restrictions. If, Reasonable. They, Keyword. If for some reason people feel the same way as a city hall of like you don't have consent from them, then it should stop now. I am it's, really it's, kind of, it's kind of, you know, in our country, right, it's kind of sad to me that people would call law enforcement over being feeling uncomfortable. I am trying to You're not work. feelings enforcement. No, no, no. I am trying to work so hard to I, try to come And I can see that. It's, it's getting I, old. Right. It's getting old. It's the same stuff. You, right. tomorrow might be somebody else. Right. To a point it's like it's right, 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 right. Yeah, I traveled all the way over here. No, you came from New York? <laughs> yes, from New York. Straight from New York, came from the line. From Long Island, New York to, to come over here. Wow. Because I believe in transparency in our government. I'm not, right. if you if if you know any, I don't know if you know about me, but if you know anything about me in particular, I don't, I don't escalate a situation. I work right. with police departments across I, this seen, country. I know, I've, you know, I've done training. You know, I don't, react. yeah, I, 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 I don't escalate. I don't disrespect anybody. Although Sean patiently listens through Santana's entire rant, we can easily see that Santana is just trying to save face in front of the camera, but at the same time being a fully brainwashed feelings enforcer. Um, if there was a rule, if there was a rule that said, you know, what, what level would you go to following rules? Like, I understand you're saying you're following the rules and the orders of the mayor, but like, what, what level would there be? Like, would, if the mayor said that there's no, you know, um, there's no people of color allowed in this building, would you just say, well, I'm following the rule? And it was written down on a fancy piece of paper like this, printed yeah. off of a name. This, this is more of, this is completely different. I don't, you're asking I, me. That's, you, you're flipping it real, real. I'm real just saying, I mean, yeah, it, could, it, could, it could go down that way yeah, eventually. Who knows? It's little I, by little. Hey, I'll wait until if that ever happens. <laughs> and I'd hope you go mean, against that one. I, don't, I, don't I mean, I'd hope you go against this. Before. I mean, I, I never yeah. thought that just peacefully recording my doc and documenting my experience with, with government officials, I'm a taxpayer, right? You know, even if I don't pay taxes here in West Palm Beach, so West Palm Beach gets paid a lot of money in federal taxes. That's why I requested the budget. They get a lot of federal tax dollars. I pay a lot of federal taxes, as do you, as do everybody. So we have a right to see who's right and who's wrong. You know, I have a difference of opinion from the mayor. I believe that we should have transparency and accountability inside of our government uh, as the taxpayers. Hey, how are you? And, um, you know, at the end of the day, I just need I need what's called um, standing in court in order to file that federal lawsuit against the city of West Palm Beach that my rights have been violated, right? That's for a court to determine, and that's great, but I need standing in court in order to do that. For example, you know I'm from Long Island. I filed the federal lawsuit against the NYPD. They wouldn't allow recording inside of the precincts. Yeah, just just quickly. Yeah, just quick. Yeah, 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 just quickly. Well, the only, the only thing, officer, officer, I can't, I can't, I know you have to go. I can't leave unless you tell me that I'm trespassing from here and, and then I will leave. Okay. I can't leave. Like, like, I'm, I'm not what you're looking for. Because, because listen, like, like I said, it's not for damages. It's, it's not for any type of, I'm not trying, so, I'm so trying to change the policy. Pretty much, like I said, as long as nobody's feeling, um, they don't give you consent to, to film. Right. Because it's, it's, like I said, I read it with you. It's, it's right. not the, the building itself, it's the people. Okay. So if somebody feels uncomfortable that you're recording, then that becomes a problem. That that point, yes, that that point, um, it will be a uh, warrant to trespass. A warrant to trespass, then, right? And that's but but that's what I need in order to. I can't I can't just give up my rights will, uh -huh. willingly. You know, like I said, I filed a lawsuit against the NYPD, and we got an injunction to where. You know, I can record inside the NYPD precincts because it was unreasonable. Again, if, if, if Sean sincerely tries to explain his point of view and how he had gone to great lengths to get an injunction to record inside precincts. So by the logic of the First Amendment, it would only make sense that it should be no different in a public building in a different state. No, 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 we're, we're going to go. There's actually, I think one of your bodies is over. Who, who are you, sir? Sean. Who are you? Sean Yes, sir. Who are you? I just want to know who you are, sir. I can't find out who you are as a public servant. You know who I am. So can I just know who you are as a public servant? You work in the mayor's office? So why can't I have a convert? How do I make a convers? How do I make an appointment with the mayor to speak to the mayor? No, he didn't. So at this point, at this point, there's a dis disruption. There's a disturbance. I'm just. So he, I, I will gladly ask you to. Be your second partner is over there on the library. I don't have partner. I work alone. Now that some arrogant mayor's office clerk tried to boot Sean away, is when things became personal for Sean. Not only were they enforcing unconstitutional policies, but were also being smug about it. Um. So you will have to leave, or you will be trespassed. Okay. All right. I just want to try to get his name. I'm leaving. 
Why are you all so scared of cameras? Well, there you go. You just gave me my standing in court and we'll take it there. Absolutely ridiculous. Again, you can stand out here if you put us next to Ridiculous. I'm not going inside. I'm not, I'm not inside. No, no, there's nobody, there's nobody. I'm on the side, sir. No, it's ridiculous. Listen, you've been fair with me, but it's ridiculous the way I'm treated. He wouldn't even identify himself. That's doing the same thing. Is he over here in the library? Let's see. Officer, can't you see that the policy itself is is creating more of a disturbance than the camera? You can see that. You have to be able to see that. The policy is making a disturbance. Look what you have to do. Look what you have to do because of this. For a man peacefully recording. We're always on camera. It's unfortunate. They brothers always watching us. Excuse me? You can't film people. Okay? Court, is that a law? No, ma'am. I'm asking you not to film people. They're asking you not to film them, okay? I didn't ask you to record me, but you have cameras all over the building, man. I don't want to be recorded on your device. I don't want to be recorded on their devices, ma'am. If there's a difference. Ma'am, you're escalating the situation. I'm trying to be peaceful and calm, and I'm not trying to... Although Officer Santana had no other choice but to respond to a different issue, the policy enforcers in the library did not take as kindly to Sean recording. Because that's what happens when I walk into this building. I'm being recorded. This is for my safety. I'm violating your First Amendment right? How so? How so? Your for, it's your First Amendment right not to be recorded? Our education, do it. Our edu you can press charges against me. Our education system is failing us if you think it's your First Amendment right. If it's your First Amendment right not to be recorded, our education system is failing us. This is not your Sir, you have a bunch of book. You have a bunch of, it's freedom of press, ma'am. You're a public servant. You get paid for by tax dollars, ma'am. I have the right to film government employees in the course of their building. You may leave if you're going to film the people in this building. Look, are you going to tell him to leave? He's recording me. I don't give you permission to record me. <laughs> no, I won't, because it's my right. Hey, officer, how are you? It doesn't take long for the old hag to summon another little minion to enforce the city and mayor's unconstitutional and ridiculous attempts to limit people's rights. If he will leave now, he can just go. I mean, I if I'm going to... I don't think you want to be trespassed. So you can just go and we'll leave it as it is. I mean, I don't want to be trespassed. I'm going to leave you with Officer McCarthy. Officer McCarthy, can I talk to you out here? I'm going to leave. Can I talk to you out here? Okay. I'll talk to you outside. Let me make sure my other partners are okay. I'll meet you outside. You sure? Gentlemen, you guys have been trespassed from the, the public library. Do you have your ID on you? I don't have an ID. Okay. Let me gather your name. Let me move over here if you don't mind. So other people can move this side. But didn't she say? Didn't she say that if I left, she, she didn't want me she trespassed? Just, she just told me that she but she said if I left, I didn't. What is your first name? But she said if I left, and what I is left. Your first name? I left. What is your first name? But I left. What is your first name? Do I have to give it to you? It, it, so I didn't break any trespass. law. You're being trespassed from the public library. I won't go back in there. Trust me. So you, you're refusing to give your name? I don't want to get arrested. Are you refusing to give your name? If I don't give my name, will I be arrested? Not right now. You okay, so I don't want to give. I'm not okay. going back so in there. Whoever you are, if you go back in there, you right there you go. To be trespassed. Perfect. Sir? There you go. You guys know who I am anyway. What? <laughs> look, Officer Santos. Come on, man. Look, look what this policy is. Look what this policy is causing. It's not. I am trying. I get it. But look at this. It is not. Imagine, imagine if. I know you do. I'm sure there are. I've this looked up the crime statistics. Coupled with a few complaints from public servants in a library and some extremely fragile reactions, the situation quickly escalated, leaving Sean with no choice but to assert his rights. It's unfortunate to see how the entire system is geared towards serving political figures and enforcing obtuse and unconstitutional policies, making it difficult for civilians to simply exist in buildings they pay for. Imagine getting kicked out from a library. What would you have done if such tyrants crossed your path? Let me know in the comments below. And if you liked the video, subscribe so you can take advantage of the next one we have in store for you. Thanks for watching. This is Detective Mystery signing off.